This is Nalan Fraser from Living Your Best Life at 60, and this morning I'm going to be making a white chocolate raspberry bunk cake. We're going to need a box of white cake mix, a box of instant vanilla pudding, three teaspoons of vanilla, a half a cup of butter at room temperature, three quarters cup of sour cream, three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, a cup of raspberries, mine are frozen because it's not raspberry season here, three and a half cups of powdered sugar, a cup of white chocolate chips, 16 ounces of cream cheese at room temperature, a half a cup of milk, a half a cup of vegetable oil, and four eggs at room temperature. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is preheat our oven to 325 degrees, and then we're gonna prepare our bunt pan. I'm gonna oil my pan, and I think I've said it before, if you don't want your bunt cake to stick, you have to use an obscene amount of oil. You can also use butter, but you wanna cover every single inch of your pan. I'm gonna sprinkle it with flour. I'm gonna set this aside. We're gonna mix our wet ingredients first. I find that if we mix our wet ingredients first, the cake is moister. So we're gonna do our three quarters cup of sour cream, a half a cup of milk, half a cup of vegetable oil, a teaspoon of vanilla, three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, and our four eggs. We're gonna mix our wet ingredients on low. Now we're gonna put in our cake mix, and our pudding mix. We're gonna mix these together on low until they're completely combined. We're gonna gently add in our cup of chocolate chips, white chocolate chips, and then our cup of raspberries. This already looks fantastic. We're gonna transfer our cake mix into our bunt pan. And I'm just gonna re-make sure that all my oil is up on the sides. There's nothing worse than having a beautiful cake and having it stick. All right. We're gonna spread our batter evenly across our bunt pan. This looks great. We're gonna bake this for 50 to 55 minutes at 325 degrees. So in 50 minutes, I'm gonna check this. I've taken our white chocolate raspberry bunt cake out of the oven, and I want to show you what it looks like. It already looks incredible, and as I was taking it out, I could smell the raspberries. It smells delicious. I'm going to let this cool for 30 minutes before I remove it from the pan. While we're waiting for our cake to cool, we're going to make our icing. So I have three and a half cups of powdered sugar. I'm going to add 16 ounces of cream cheese, a half a cup of butter, and two teaspoons of vanilla. We're gonna beat these ingredients together until they're smooth. Should take about two minutes. Our icing is ready. We're gonna set it aside until our cake is cool. It's time to remove our bunt cake from our bunt pan. So I'm gonna take a knife and I'm gonna gently go around the edges. Now I'm gonna take my serving plate and put it over my bunt cake and I'm gonna flip it. Perfect. We're gonna set our cake aside and let it cool completely before we ice it. While I was waiting for my cake to thoroughly cool, I put my icing inside an icing bag. You can actually use a baggie and just cut off the corners too. So we're gonna take our icing and we're gonna go from the outside in and just do strips. I decided to run a bead of icing along the bottom of my cake. This made it look a little fancier. This turned out amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you for cooking with me.